Hi guys, today's math lesson is lesson 10. Um, lesson 10 and 11 are actually the same. So um, this applies to both lessons and the pages that you're gonna do for both lessons. So the objective is to find the area of rectangles with whole by mixed and whole by fractional number side lengths by tiling record by drawing and relate to fraction multiplication. Okay, so if you notice, we are finding the area. Oopsies. Bear with me while I use these drawing tools. I feel like I'm not going to be very good at them like I like I do in class. Why is it letting me do that? Okay, so finding the area. We started finding volume. We had area mixed in there a little bit, um, but we're going back to area of rectangles with whole by mixed and whole by fractional number side lengths. So you're used to a rectangle rectangle looking like this, seven feet by four feet. Those are whole numbers. Today, we're gonna to be looking at um, a whole number and a mixed number or a whole number by a fraction. And then we're gonna do something called tiling. Um, and then we're gonna do some drawing and relate it to fraction multiplication. All right, when you do area, you're used to doing area equals length times width, right? That's supposed to be a W. Um, if you were given a rectangle that looked like this to find the area, you would have done seven feet by four feet, right? Um, you would have multiplied those and you'd get an area of 28 feet squared. This is gonna take a long time to draw this, okay. That would be the area of this shape. Now, I wanna show you what tiling means. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. This is the exact same rectangle, but I have tiled it now. So each of these equals, oh, sorry guys, I should have changed that. That should say units, not feet. Each of these um, is one square unit. It should be a perfect square. So if I have a rectangle that's seven units by four units, that means I have seven of these units across for the length and then four down for the width. Um, this is what tiling looks like. So you'd find the area the exact same way. Um, I have seven by four down here, so it equal 28 units squared. Now it changes a little bit when, you, um, when you're tiling a side length that has a fractional part. So example, this is three and a half um, units. So for this one, we're doing two units by three and a half units. We're going to tile it and then find the area that way. I know a lot of you might look at this and say, oh, all I, all I know I'm doing is two times three and a half units. You already can look at that and know. However, we need to be able to model our thinking as well. Um, so if I wanted to tile this, I'm going to start with my length of two units. Um, I just have two units across, so there would be one unit here and one unit here. So I'm going to go ahead and split this in half. It's supposed to be obviously a perfect line. It is not. Going down, I have three and a half units. So I have three full units and then I have one half of a unit. So um, going down, if you're looking at the spacing here, um, I need to space out three and a half. It's obviously not going to look perfect. I'm going to try to make it as best I can. One, two, three. Okay, obviously these are not perfect squares, but um, let's pretend that they are. So what I've drawn here, I have two units across, one unit, one unit, and down I have one, two, three units, and then I have a half unit down here. This is a half of a unit. This all together is equal to three. Now, um, I first want to find the area of the whole parts, which is up here, and then I'm going to find the area of the fractional parts down here. So if I wanted to find the area of this top part, I would multiply three units by two units, or I should have done, I guess, two first, but three U times two U. See, that's supposed to be an equal sign. And when I multiply those together, I would get six 
units squared. Okay, so that's my area just up here. If I want to find the area down here, I need to think about what I'm multiplying. Well, my length for this part is one half. I have two units across, which means I'm multiplying two times two units times one half, which is equal to one. If you thought about it, this is a half a unit. This is a half a unit together. A half and a half would equal one. You could think about it that way. Sorry, I'm trying to make this look like multiplication, not addition, um, which would be one unit squared. Now, I found the area first of this part. I find the area, I found the area second of this part, but all together, the whole rectangle are those two parts put together. So I have six units squared, one unit squared, which would make my area, when I add those two together, the area equals seven. You would write out the word units, but I am having a difficult time with the trackpad. Seven units squared. Easy enough. All right, let's go down a little bit. Um, maybe sometimes you might be given the dimensions, but you're not um, given uh, anything else. So this one, the dimensions were given there on the, uh, on the drawing already. Here, it's not given to you. Um, up here, you have to label it yourself. So we have four units long, so I know that my length is up here so this is four units i'm doing you again because units is too hard to type out on my for my width i have two and three fourths unit wide two and three fourths okay i'm going to start with my length going across i have four to equally space those i'll um first draw this in half then i can do each of those in half all right, so if I look across, I have one, two, three, four. That's four units. Going down for my width, I have two and three fourths. Now, I want to think about two and three fourths. This means two whole units. This means a unit that is not quite whole, but it is almost the size of a whole unit. So when I draw this three fourths, it might almost look like it's a full unit, um, but it's not. It's still supposed to be a fractional part because three fourths is almost one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. There's one, there's two, and then this would represent three fourths. So this part, oopsies, is two. This part is three fourths. Okay, so again, when we multiply, we're gonna first multiply the top part and then multiply the bottom part. I want you to pause the video and do that on your own. All right, welcome back. Um, when you multiplied these two together, you should have multiplied first four units going across by two units. You would have gotten eight units squared. When you multiplied this down here, you would have done four units, because it's four units across, times three fourths, which gets you to three units squared. When you multiply, or I'm sorry, when you add those two together, you would have gotten the area, to area equals 11 units squared. Okay, for your assignment today, um, you're going to do page 44. They've asked you to um, draw, I think, one, two, rectangle A, B, C, D, and E. So you're going to draw the rectangles and assign dimensions for each rectangle. So your rectangles need to have a whole unit, so a number that's like two, three, four, five, you know, without a fraction. And then you're going to have one dimension that is a mixed number or a fraction. And then you are going to model the same way I have shown you here. I want to repeat, you are not given the dimensions. You need to create the dimensions on your own. You can make it as difficult as you like, but remember your picture, your whatever you draw needs to um, show your dimensions. So it should be drawn to scale as best you can. Um, 
So yes, that is page 44. That is your assignment today.